What's up, everybody? It's Daphne here at Native Entertainment for Murder Fest 2013, and it is Friday the 13th, and we are sitting here with Abolishment of Flesh. Can you guys introduce yourselves? My name is uh, Raymond Cassidis. Um, I'm the vocalist and guitarist. I'm Robert. I play drums. I'm Chewy. I play bass. So you, how are you guys feeling out here? Ready to play Murder Fest? Yes. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Tear, we're ready to tear it up, yeah. It's always, uh, it's always good to come here to Albuquerque and play. So. Sweet. And you guys are from where? We're from Amarillo, Texas. Nice. Yeah. All right. How long have you guys been together for those who have never heard of you guys? Um, we've actually been in existence for about seven years. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. So you have a new album coming out, but with your EP... How is that sounding, or how, what was your reaction from fans? Um, the EP or the new album? The EP. Um, the EP, we got a lot of positive uh, feedback from it. Um, the newer album, it's going to sound a lot better. The music's a lot tighter. So uh, we, we, every album we release, the next one, we just want to crush the last one that we did. So that's, that's what we're trying to do. And you guys learn from it as you grow up, of yes. course. So you just got off Brutal Alliance, correct? Yes, the Brutal Alliance tour was uh, June and July. We did a five-week tour around the U.S. So uh, with Fields of Elysium, Psychiatry, Regurgitation, and Astringency. So it was, a, it was an awesome tour. So what are your next tours coming up? I just heard that you guys are actually going to Europe. Um, we have an offer. Um, it's still, the date is undetermined, but uh, we have Europe in the works for the beginning of next year. We also have the third installment for the Brutal Alliance tour, or fourth installment, should I say, and then we have an Australian tour in October. So, how do you guys feel about that? I'm, I like, I don't know. I'm pretty speechless. <laughs> it's really exciting. Yeah, I'd be pretty stoked to go to fucking Europe, and I also saw that you had um, the Spring Bash uh, Fire Up in Milwaukee. You guys are playing that as well, correct? Yes, we are. Um, we. Somehow we got on it, and uh, uh, it's going to be an awesome show to play. The NYDM people are always awesome people to uh, hang out with, so it's awesome to be able to perform for them. So, yeah. so explain the NYDM as far as uh, who is part of it, and for those, so yeah, explanation for those who don't really know about it. Um, NYDM is the New York Death Militia. It's just an organization that helps out um, just underground extreme music. There's a uh, an alliance basically in the US and it's even spreading over to uh, Europe and stuff so it's really awesome because they're just helping each other out and for this type of music we need all the support that we can get so okay who are some bands that you guys have played for or some that you wish to play for in the future um, some of the bands that we played for that I grew up listening to were like suffocation carcass um, decrepit birth and stuff like that um, one of the creation so we got to show the stage with a lot of bands. Um, I like to play with some of the other bands like uh, Emperor. You know, I, we'd love to be like a, on the Wacken Fest. You know, uh, to play with all of them all at one time. So that'd be awesome. Who are some of your guys' inspirations as far as where your music comes from and as far as writing? Um, for me personally, it, there's a variety of uh, inspiration. One of the main ones is uh, Chuck Schuldner from uh, from Death, um, Cataclysm, Suffocation, um, Deicide. You know, those are my main ones. And, of course, the old school thrash bands like Slayer and even some old school Metallica. You know, got to keep the thrash elements in the music. So. For sure. You guys, do you have anything to add to that one? Actually, the other inspiration I have is, like, Cliff Burton, old school Metallica oh, yeah. and everything. And, plus, I also love, uh, you know, Decapitated, Decrypt of Birth and all mm -hmm. that. And uh, Necrophagus. Mm -hmm. That's where a lot of my inspiration comes from. Yeah. And I try to do all that all finger style instead of using a pick, try to play that. Oh, hell yeah. Fast and everything. Yeah, I think that's always my favorite too. It's just a lot deeper. <laughs> <All> right. Yeah. <laughs> so, as far as your shows, is there anything crazy that goes on? Do you guys have any little, uh, not, uh, I guess, traditions that you guys do? Like before, India shows, whatever. Um, I don't think we have any traditions, but um, I mean, we just take every day as it comes, you know. Um, one of the funny experiences that we had is when we were in North Carolina and we posted on our Facebook that we we're wanting to try some moonshine. So we got a hold of some moonshine and uh, uh, everybody got pretty plastered, you know, including P. 
Petrie from yeah, the Petrie Oh, he's back there hiding. You guys can't see him. He's back there hiding. <laughs> so what was your favorite show? I'm pretty sure you guys have, you know, fans growing, but, you know, this, that fan base that is pretty strong. Do you guys have any crazy shows as far as the crowd and who is your favorite? Um... I know Albuquerque is always fun to play. We have a lot of friends. We have a lot of fans here. Um, we played Seattle on our tour. That was a pretty crazy night. Um, I don't know. Is there any other nights you guys can remember? Dude, Boston. Uh, one of my favorite nights was uh, Seattle. Uh, we weren't expecting that turnout that we had, and everybody got crazy, like crazy, real awesome, and everything. Not just for us, but yeah. like the whole show. Oh, sick. like everybody showed up, even for the first band. Mm -hmm. Everybody played it throughout the whole night. That's good. That was unexpected. Yeah, and you were adding Boston. What was yeah. crazy about that one? Uh, everything. <laughs> it, was, it was just an all-around good vibe, good show. That's good, yeah. So I'm pretty sure you guys have a big Texas fan base. What are your shows like there compared to any other state? Um, South Texas has a bigger death metal scene. Um, we always like playing San Antonio and Houston. We played Laredo one day, and that was a really crazy night. Um, it's just all of South Texas that's just, you know, the metal scene is really thriving. And I would put Texas up against even Florida and, you know, even L.A. I mean, the music scene in Texas is it's thriving and growing. So, yeah. yeah. Austin, Texas is pretty badass, too. Like, there can't even be a metal show going across the street and people still show up to your own show mm -hmm. and everything. Damn. Well, that's good. Get crazy. Yeah. So what are your expectations from tonight or for tonight, rather? Um, but, you know, we're not on tour or anything like that. When we, we were asked to play this, you know, it was, you know, we just came here to do our thing, you know, do the interview and just have a blast, you know, and hang out with everybody. So, you know, it's, you know we're, we're just here to have fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how do you guys play in New Mexico often? Um, actually, we do. We uh, New Mexico is kind of like a second home to us. We play here. We also play in... Uh, like in uh, on the reservation also, you know, some of our Indian friends that would invite us to go out there and play. And it's always an awesome uh, turnout and an experience. So. Yeah. All right. So I know for Chewy, this is your last show, right? How are you feeling about that one? Uh, I don't know. I've got mixed feelings about it right now. Right now it's kind of hard for me to do the interview right now. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, as long as, as, uh, as long as been in the band already and everything, kind of feel... Second like brotherhood and everything, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know I got a lot of mixed feelings about doing it right now. Well, it but seems like, like you do have a lot of support here, and of course you have these two that are. Yeah, I mean, I really don't. I really don't know how to explain it right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess the best way is just to throw it down and let it out tonight, right? Yeah. I mean, All I right. Feel like, I feel like I should just went ahead, like, I guess, I guess, be professional about it, as you, yeah. as you can say, and go ahead and do the last show. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. So since it is Friday the 13th, who is your favorite serial killer, fictional or nonfiction? Mine has always been uh, Leatherface. So I'm from Texas, so that's... That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys? Uh, Michael Myers. <laughs> <laughs> Yours? Um, I don't know, I guess the only thing I can come with serial killers or whatever is like, I don't know, I guess Evil Dead, I guess. Okay, Maybe just some of that. Shit yeah. Porn and everything. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and your weapon of choice? <laughs> um, a 357 Magnum. <laughs> <laughs> That's tight. <laughs> Alright, yours. This is my machete. Jason style. <laughs> Nachos. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell would you use nachos? Throw that that much. All right. He slips and falls and hits the floor or something. <laughs> I wouldn't know what mine would be. But, yeah. So I hope you guys have a good Friday the 13th. It's fucking Murder Fest here. We have, of course, Abolishment of Flesh. Endless Affection is going to be coming up next. End to end and left to rot. We have everybody here. So kick back and watch the show. Or if you don't want to kick back, just go fucking crazy. So we'll see you guys soon. And have a good night.